Hey guys, how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. This is an update on both Base and Wise. Um, I was going to do a video on both uh, today, but I might as well just um, roll it all into one. Um, so yeah, Base and Wise. We're going to start with Base first. There's not too much to say about Wise other than I'm just going to keep you updated on my progress, what I think is going on with the reservations and, and, and all that cool stuff. But yeah, first, first off, we are going to start with Base. So if you guys quickly wouldn't mind smashing that like button. Um, and then we will go over to um, the, well... The base coin gecko and see what is going on um so obviously um i, I say obviously you guys, you guys know how i say obviously so basically base is a rebase token so i'm going to quickly explain exactly how it works um and i know almost all of you guys will, will know that but we're going to go over anyway um just for any new people so what happens is you have right here on the dashboard this is the target base price um, and the target base price is basically one trillionth of the crypto market cap. So the crypto market cap is currently 577 billion. So one trillionth of that would be 50, uh, basically 57, um, well, f actually 57.7 cents or point um five seven seven dollars obviously that's the same thing <laughs> um but yeah so basically this is the target price okay um so what base is designed for it is designed for somebody who wants to um basically is designed for someone that wants to um sort of track the crypto market cap and basically um invest in the whole crypto market cap so if it goes up they make money if it goes down well they lose money um but it's sort of like a tracker so um, in in sort of crypto terms, um, it's like a crypto, it's like a whole crypto market ETF in 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 a way. Um, that is what it's aiming to be. But um, it has to it has to rebase based on basically how many um, people come into the token. So if more people are coming into the token, that is going to push the price up, as you can see. And that is recently, because it's a new token, um, that's what's been happening. The price has been getting pushed up because there are more buyers and sellers, clearly. It's still a token. Um, the only way that the um, the actual... Um, the actual the to the only way the actual token the the developers the the people behind it can can adjust the price the to the price to basically what it should be is by increasing or decreasing the um basically the supply um so right so that i mean that is why that is why people are getting more tokens because as this price goes up because more people are buying they then got to try and reduce the price to this target base price. So if the price is currently closed now, that's 28% higher the prices than the target price. So they will issue 28% more coins. And then everyone that has them, then people, some people have extra coins, then they will then sell their coins. And then in an ideal world, the price will then come down to round about um, this price. And then if more buyers then come in, then it'll go up. If price goes down, the opposite happens. So people sell this coin. So like there's a lot of people invested now. And I wouldn't call them necessarily long-term investors or hodlers. We're obviously in that FOMO initial listing pump stage. I mean, no one can deny that fact. No one can deny we're in a, a bit of a, we are in a FOMO stage. And we will talk about the exact dynamics of this token, why it encourages FOMO. Um, let me just check my sound settings are okay because actually I don't believe they are. Oh, yes, they are. Excellent. Let me just check it one more time because I'm certain I didn't do this. Um, yeah, it's fine. Good. So the sound's okay. Um, so we're in a FOMO stage. Um, the market cap is obviously increasing. Um, if you wanted to compare um, the next, well, not the next, I guess it is the next biggest because this is probably the second biggest rebase coin now. The next biggest rebase coin would be Ample. Um, so if I just open a new um, CG tab, um, go to Ample and then see what their um, see what their market cap is um, relative to base. So their market cap is 363 million. And what Ample Fourth is, it is a coin that um, that rebases itself to the um, um, inflation adjusted dollar so i think the dollar plus um cpi or something and obviously as more money comes in and pushes price up um that means you'll get more tokens to bring the price back down again as money goes out the opposite will happen but you can see this coin has a market cap of 363 million base currently even with its elevated crazy crazy pumping has a current market cap of 60 million so if we look at 360 versus um, versus 60 million, 
um, that would be, <laughs> wait a minute, that would be exactly six times the amount. Six, six is a 36. Yes. <laughs> so basically, for base, um, if base is going to be as popular, as successful, as useful, as adopted, as ample forth, um, at this present time, it has a uh, it has a potential 6x. Um and that is not to say it has to be has to be as um, has to be as in has to has to be as successful or as large as ample fourth. That is also not to say that it can't be bigger and better than ample fourth because um I mean people wanting a, a, a an inflation of just a dollar i mean would they be that bothered just holding tether or usdt because we know that's what basically people sorry not all us or usdc or DAI or any other stable coin is there a real reason for them to really want to hold this but is there a reason for people wanting to track the whole crypto market cap the whole crap the whole market cap that's the one is there a reason there is potentially a bigger use case for base than there is potentially for amp for ample forth and i'm just saying potentially i may be right i may be wrong about this it is early days time time will time will tell um so yeah um, the main thing at the moment that I am monitoring and it is going absolutely crazy. This right when I when I trade these sort of D Gen coins, there are two main factors that um, that I um, I basically monitor. And um, I mean, you might you might hear other YouTubers um, try and talk about um, whatever coins they're trying to pump, whatever coins are sponsored by, whatever bags they hold not necessarily sponsored by but want to point their own bags they talk about all these core cool fundamentals what they think just and hopefully hope just i think hope their followers blind blindly buy right but the metrics that i keep my closest eye on for determining the price of these um smaller smaller cap sort of fomo coin trend coins is the number one is the number of holders so i'm keeping track of the number of holders and i was in this coin obviously from pre-sale fomoing in at the actual listing time i stayed up to 2 a.m at night you guys will know i told you guys in my video i'm staying up to 2 a.m at night my uk time um to basically buy bet more base i was in the pre-sale and i wanted to buy more base i fomoed in so i i currently have a lot of this tied up in pre-sale a lot tied up tied up in liquidity pools and as it happens not so much tied up in free base coins in my wallet that i can actually freely sell um but yeah so i do i do have a lot of capital currently tied up in this that um that has massive paper gains well i guess my little liquidity pools aren't paper gains because I, I can withdraw them and sell them at any point but yeah but my actual locked pre-sale tokens are massive paper gains but right back to back to what i'm trying to tell you guys with these sorts of coins the most important thing for a trader if you're a trader of these coins so if you watch my short term um short term not short term yeah short term trading um like the um the low cap that's what i was trying to say not short term i was trying to say low cap if you're looking at watching my low cap gem video um those low cap gems are, are, are small coins and not a massive market cap there's not maybe a massive holders they're relatively liquid they can get pumped up and they can get dumped up pretty spe spectacularly as you see so the trick is to get in when then pre-pump ride the pump up get out on the pump whenever people are potentially fomoing in and just wait for it to dump and then potentially buy back again if you if you are so inclined um but my anyway i will get to what i'm trying to tell you number one number of holders monitor <coughs> the number of holders if that is going up is that is going up nicely um if that is yeah growing nicely by every few hours every day going up a nice amount then you know there's more and more people coming in you know that coin has got momentum you know that coin is most likely to go up and that has been massively um apparent in this in this in this coin but it will happen you will see it in other coins as well the second thing is the telegram channel these are the two things these are the only two things um the um, number of holders going up and the number of people in the telegram channels going up every coin has its telegram channel yeah um, yeah telegram channel you can kind of see i'm in a lot here i'm monitoring some other youtubers channels seeing what they're well to be honest i don't they get too many messages and i don't read them anyway but yeah just quite a lot of um youtube a lot, lot of channels here that i'll monitor and um yeah this is the number here this is it um monitor this um if someone um was um i say smart enough it's not like it's a hard thing to do but if someone was smart enough to realize it was a good thing to do to literally just track telegram users and number of holders uh, on a chart for various coins and chart that and and honestly 
it, I'm I'm spending my time looking for these trends, and it's not as easy as just looking at a graph. Um, if someone does that, they they are literally onto a winner. I'm sure someone has done it, and I'm sure they're just keeping it to themselves because they're making loads of money easier than other people are potentially making money by doing the same thing but doing it a bit more manual like i'm doing it but yeah they're, they're the two things ignore what any other youtuber tells you ignore what any any what anyone else tells you ignore ignore what any ta trader tells you ignore what any fundamental analyst tells you with these small cap um DeFi, whatever 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 they're in with these small cap coins in crypto coins monitor the people number of people in the telegram chat if that's starting to go up um if the number of holders is starting to go up that coin is going to go up it is that simple when the tele number of people in the telegram chat starts to flatten out or maybe come down or when or and or when the number of holders starts to flatten out or or come down that is when the coin has topped and that is when the coin is going to start coming back down. The coin would have been pumped. It would have been FOMO'd into. It would have been FOMO'd into by big traders with lots of ETH. Do you know what I mean? I can throw, I can throw lots of ETH at these coins and pump them up, get more people involved, get, pump them up more, get more people involved, and then I'll take my ETH out. And um, other people take the ETH out. Other people take the ETH out, and the coin comes down, 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 down. It's just how this works, guys. It's just trading. Um, there's nothing against the project. There's nothing against the other, other traders involved in this. There's nothing against the people that are getting in for fundamental reasons. It is just, it is a job to make money. It is a job, and that's they are the why the, the waves that you ride. So, right, that that gem of information, guys. Telegram members, numbers, and number of holders. So if we refresh this, it's gonna go up because it's going up all the time. Look, as you can see, um, it is going up. So we have still got we have still got momentum momentum with this coin. So yeah, like I said. This is the current um, current market cap, 60 million. Ample fourth is basically 6x that. This could be, couldn't be, maybe, may not be better. But um, all I will say is that this has gone quite fast, quite soon. So a lot of these holders are not going to be um, long-term holders. Because um, Ample has been around a while, it's calmed down. A lot of the people in Ample are going to be people that are staying in Ample for longer than the potentially the people that are currently currently in base and i'm not saying that base isn't going to get fully adopted going forwards have a lot more users than now and those people be like ample users ample holders where they're just holding it for longer i'm not saying that won't be the case and i personally i believe that will be the case but all that matters now is that you have to understand a lot of the holders in base currently are not going to be long-term holders they're sat on massive profits a lot of them <clears throat> or sat on good profits um they're going to want out there's not many people in base that aren't sat in profits guys put it that way um, and until that until that changes, until people start to lose money, um, when we basically get a negative rebase, then people aren't going to have any incentive to really get out in big fashion. Um, so, yeah, speaking of the price, right. So now let's have a look at the price action for base. So as you can see, when we get these, it's just, guys, this is just insane. This this coin is insane. So we got up to about $1.50, or over $1.50, and then we had our rebase. So that was... That was a massive increase on um, on basically um, 50 odd cents. It was basically like a th nearly 300. I think it was. I think it ended up being like about 240 percent the first one, and I thought that was particularly crazy, um, particularly crazy. But yeah, we rebased and then we still made our way back up. So basically, we sort of traded an average of this level. We traded up to here. We then basically um, saw back down, and then we, we the coin recovered. This is obviously as more holders are coming in. We did a similar thing um, day before yesterday. Rallied up to here, um, had a big massive rebase, came back down, and then price worked its way up again. And we had this is this is insane, guys. This move what we had here is insane. Um, to basically pay um, over two dollars <coughs> for something that um, has a, that has a target price of fifty seven. So it's obviously going to come down. But as you're buying it up, knowing this is going to happen, it's just it's just crazy behavior, guys. But yeah, it like you are just buying the market cap basically. So that's what people will say: does the money buying the market cap? But this is this is big FOMO. Um, and the problem is is that if you buy up here expecting this rebase, if this coin is, people start selling before the rebase, you're then you are going to end up not in a quite as good position. But that hasn't really happened yet for anyone. That has not happened um, as of yet. It may happen, may not happen. I expect it will at some point, but it hasn't happened yet. Um, so, yeah, so far, I mean, today, today is the first day where we're getting not, not we're looking like it is early, guys. <clears throat> I, I fully expect us to rally into 
into the rebase because it's just the dynamic of this coin is that the closer you to get the rebase to the rebase the less incentive there is for you to sell any of your coins so as we go into the rebase there is always going to be less sellers because why sell the coin especially if it's going up because there's less sellers and especially then the higher it goes up the more coins you're then going to get when it rebases you're not going to sell basically <laughs> So the price goes up. It has to do this. It has to do this. And we are currently um, 25 past 7. Um, so we in, in the UK, the rebase is at 10. So we're talking 2 hours and 36 minutes away. This price is going to rally into the close, into basically 10 p.m. This price is going to rally. Unless it has a big dump down and starts to get people scared and selling, then it's going to rally. And, le and let me tell you, they sort of this elastic slingshot mentality of this coin. As this coin is in a, when this coin is in a positive rebase and it is rallying into the rebase, um, no one's going to sell because the positive rebase, they're going to get more coins. The coin is up higher, less people sell, they're going to get more coins, no one sells. The problem is, guys, and we've not experienced this yet, but we will, we will experience this. At some point, we're going to be in the negative rebase area so we're going to be in the negative rebase area where people are thinking if i hold these coins i'm going to get less coins if i hold them over rebase so i might as well sell them now that is going to drive the price down that is means people are going to get even less coins um going to have even less coins and they get have have more of a percent higher percentage taken away from them from them um at the negative rebase so then they're going to sell beforehand and then we're going to get a sell down um, and we're getting an accelerated sell down into a negative rebase and 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 wait remember the opposite is true nobody's going to want to buy going into a negative rebase because you're going to get less coins you might as wait after the negative rebase and then buy um this is the same with the positive you may you basically no one's going to want to sell um going into a positive rebase and lots of people are going to want to buy going into it and then in a negative rebase lots of people are going to want to sell and nobody's going to want to buy so this guys works both ways this works both ways and 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 thus far it hasn't it hasn't operated the second way way yet we haven't had a negative rebase and i mean we will do we will have one the only thing that will make it maybe not accelerate quite so much is that i mean there's no nice way of putting at this but there, there's 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 a lot of people in crypto that don't know what they're talking about they don't know what they're doing they don't know what they're buying they're just idiots right there are a lot of idiots in crypto you only have to look at any telegram chat to be like every other person idiot 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 doesn't know what he's talking about idiot clown literally must have gone to clown school must have gone to idiot school to be that stupid there are lots of idiots right <laughs> this is what i'm saying so what i'm trying to my point is if we do go into a negative rebase we go into that vicious negative feedback cycle um smart people non-idiots non-clowns are going to understand what is going on there the idiots are not going to understand and they're going to see the coin coming down see it as a, an opportunity to buy and then they're going to buy simple as that they're going to buy so the actual acceleration of the downside may not be as much literally because people are idiots that's it that's all i really wanted to say on that <laughs> um so Bear that in mind. Bear that in mind. We are going to get these moves where we come into a negative rebase. More people are going to want to sell. That's going to drive the price down. And more people are going to want to sell. But there's going to be a certain amount of people that are going to come in and buy. Not realizing that in like say if they buy half an hour before rebase and the price keeps coming down. They're actually going to lose more and more and more of those tokens that they just bought. And they're just going to be like dull. Um, so yeah. Negative rebase. So that's that, that's that dynamic disgust let me just check how long this video is going on for because i don't want to keep you guys too long okay yep so that is that is that done right in impermanent loss i am he's called sorry a i l impermanent loss right so if you're if you are in the cascade pool and i was in two cascade pools one on this account which i no longer am and um, i basically liquidated that and sold that yesterday um just because i thought it was looking good i didn't want to push my luck i'm in massive profit in my pre-sale anyway I, i'm fully exposed i'm fully 
fully exposed to this coin. I was happy to sell one of my liquidity pools that I bought basically on day one. And I still have another one and I will keep that running. Right, let me tell you why. Um, the I, th I think the liquidity pools are particularly good, but they're more of a um, more of a medium term play. Um, but I'm going to tell you just how they work, the problem that people are having with them. The problem people are having with liquidity pools at the moment is that if they didn't invest the ETH, they didn't basically join those ETH together to get LP tokens, they didn't then stake those LP tokens, and they just sat with that original value of base, they would have made way more money. Way more money. And that is a, that is a problem that people have got in the, in the liquidity pool. And what impermanent losses, right, I'm going to say this, I'm going to explain this very, very simply, um, very simply so that I'm not going to go into too much detail. When you get an LP token, you have to then combine an equal value of ETH. So say you buy $1,000 of base, you then have to join it together with $1,000 of Ethereum. So whatever that price of base is that, that is that at that time, is going to determine how many base you actually buy for that $1,000. The price of Ethereum at the time is going to determine determine how much of Ethereum you actually put combine it with. So those two numbers are basically purely based on the price when you buy the LP tokens. So what happens is you basically you're then providing liquidity. You've got both coins. You're both both sides of the pair. People can buy your ETH, um, pay your ETH and take your base. People can take your base and pay your ETH. So the problem impermanent loss happens. It happens two ways. One, either the coin that you've combined the ETH with goes down in value a lot, um, in which case people are going to start basically taking the ETH and giving you the coin. So you're going to end up in your liquidity pool lots more of the coin that is worth a lot less than basically what the ETH was worth, and therefore you've made like a lot of the ETH. So you've actually lost not just the coin value you put in, but the ETH value also. The opposite, which this is what is happening in base, is that the price is going up really fast. And the price is going up. So what has happened is people are basically giving you ETH and taking your base, your base that you've put in the liquidity pool. So you're ending up with more ETH and less base, but it's the base that's going up really fast. So you're not making as much basically dollar profit because you don't have as much base because people have taken the base off you and given you ETH. So you've got ETH and not base. And yes, you are making money. Yes, it is going up, but it's not going up anywhere near as much as it should do. Um, not should do, should is the wrong word, as it would do if you just had that same value just in base. Right, so the Cascade pool, why I'm still involved with one of my pools and why I've taken one out. I've taken one of my pools out because I'm still massively exposed to the base price via my pre-sale tokens, so I needed to take some cash out of it. Um, and the liquidity pool was one of those ways to take a chunk out. Um, but the reason I'm keeping the other one in, and the reason why I would love to have kept the liquidity pool that I have, buy both of them and sold some of basic my pre-sale tokens if I had them because I think the liquidity pool, liquidity pool are a great medium term play but I don't have access I can't reduce my risk via selling my pre-sale so I can only reduce my risk by selling um, one of my liquidity farms so the reason why I'm keeping the other and the reason why I wish I could keep both is because right okay I'm getting in permanent loss I'm not making as much as holding all the coins but let's face it, this coin is not going to keep flying up. Some point it's going to come down. Some point it's going to stabilize. At some point it's it's going to do it's going to do one of two of those things. Um, it's not going to keep going up forever. So at that point, I will still be getting. I will still be earning on the cascade. So if we click on the cascade, it is currently set at 150%. But they're going to increase that to 200. And they're also giving. They're calling it a splash. They're also giving us some more more base rewards. And also to um, to, as like as to basically help not help out but just to just to compensate the people that have lost from initially when they when they did that crazy um first rebase when they didn't have like their 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 code sorted properly and and um and uniswap did some crazy stuff i won't go into that i mean i do know exactly what happened but i'm not going to go into it they're actually going to give you give us some more um base rewards as well if you were in the liquidity pool before then which i actually was um so in my actual main my actual main i say my main farm it's my only farm now and um, that is basically um basically what is going on so um do anyway right so the reason why i'm holding my liquidity pool basically after 30 days of holding it you will get 2x the rewards and after 60 days you'll get 3x so that could end up being quite a lot 
um, and also don't forget the price isn't going to keep going up exponentially at some point the price is going to come down or it's going to go sideways or sideways and down or down and sideways or whatever whichever whichever combination um one wishes to um to um speculate on but it's going to happen one of those situations are going to happen so um then i will still be getting money in the cascade i still be getting my rewards i might hopefully be getting two x rewards then three x rewards um they hopefully will be giving out more 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 base tokens out of the pool to basically that they've got to encourage liquidity providers and and also look at this guys Look at this. If I show you the 24-hour volume um, on the whole of Uniswap, the whole of Uniswap, Ethereum, which basically, practically everything is paired with Ethereum and people trade with Ethereum. So that's the highest at 24-hour volume of 313 million. Um, but look what's number two. Base protocol. Base protocol is number two with 100 million. So that is more than Tether. That is more than DAI. That is more than Tether and Dai put together, and it is one third of Ethereum, which is the main the main coin. So, and look at the liquidity, guys. So these the fees, the actual fees. Let me see if it will tell us. I think I've got to go into pair to see the fees. But this is all getting divided by only. Um, well, it says three million here, and it says six point two million on there. Does it say liquidity on here? Um. Do, 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 do. No, it doesn't say on here, but um, I, b I believe I've seen uh, it say there's more liquidity, but it's only saying 3 million here, uh, 3 million liquidity. Oh, maybe, uh, actually, sorry, yeah, because it's half the, it was 6 million, because obviously half is the base, half is the ETH, so the actual liquidity for the ETH base pair is 6 million, the liquidity for that is that. So basically, we'll go to the pair to have a look, um, pairs. If we just go to volume 24 hours, it's going to come up with, oh, wow, number one, number one, guys. But, yeah, because, look, these are the pairs, look. ETH, USD, USD, ETH, DAI, ETH. These are all the biggest pairs, and these are clear, a lot of these are trading with ETH. If I then click, if we look here, so, basically, the liquidity is 6 million, 3 million base, 3 million ETH, um, and um, fees of 300,000. So, this $300,000 of 24-hour fees is shared amongst a liquidity pool of 6 million. Right, the Ethereum USD one hundred thousand dollars of twenty-four hour fees is shared between a liquidity pool of one hundred and forty-two million. So that is a about four. <laughs> Wait a minute, I can do this. I, I am, I am good at maths, guys. I am good at maths. This is literally like about twenty-two, twenty-three, maybe it's twenty-four times. Six times twenty-four. Let's get the calculator. Um, <laughs> six million. <laughs> sorry, six million. Yes, not sorry. Six million um, times twenty-four <laughs> equals yes. I'm right. <laughs> One hundred and forty-four million. Obviously, um, we're going in six mi six million increments. So I'm I'm two million off. Well, I'm not actually. I'm three. I'm. Um, I'm um, 1 million off. I was correct. Yeah, 24. So basically, anyway, 24 times. 24 times the amount of um, um, people are having to share one third of the amount of fees. So to sum it up, we're getting a lot of fees. We're getting a lot of fees, guys. Um, so that is all I wanted to say. So that also is involved in the liquidity pool. Excellent. By the, by the bum, by the bing. Um, so yeah, here it here it is. Um, yeah, we understand. Um, anyway, so this this coin is literally taking taking the market by storm. Um, it is absolutely crazy. It is crazy. Base protocol. Um, yeah. So I've talked a few things. I've talked told you about um, what to follow to follow these trade these sites sorts of coins. I've told you about what could potentially happen with the rebase. I've told you why I'm in the liquidity pools. I've told you um, the reason why I sold one of the liquidity pools is not because I didn't want it. It's because I had to reduce risk and I don't have access to my other coins to reduce risk there. I've told you about the actual um, liquidity, the actual volume, the trading volume, the liquidity going up also. The liquidity going up is obviously good for a project. If there's lots of um, trading volume in it, then people are going to want to get in the liquidity pool. So that is then good for the project. Um, so over to Wise. Wise, we love Wise. We love Wise, guys. A lot of my profits are going into Wise. Um, if we have a look at my personal dashboard, so I'm currently in for basically um, 165 Ys, um, 900,000 basically. Ooh, 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 don't know what happened there. Um, yeah, 
So I'm in. I was my target was my tar, my initial target, guys, was 50 ETH just to meet the uh, referral and just self referral, and that was it. Um, and yeah, I mean, obviously people have have used my link as well, so that was great. But that was never was my intention. My intention was just that hey, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to use my link. Um, and yeah, I mean, I've done some videos on it. People do see what I see, so hopefully this can. Um, hopefully this is a good place for my ETH to go. If I can, um, <laughs> even if I can just 10x this, guys, um, that's going to be 1,640 ETH. So, um, and I've heard, I've heard people, um, people's names who begin with P and sound like Eater, um, throw numbers around like 100x. Um, and yeah, 100x is a crazy guys, but wait, base, 100x, done it, been there, done that, two days ago, three days ago. So 100x's are there, we talked about base on the, on the, on the day as well, um, I did tell you guys I was staying up to do it, um, it was in my video. Um, but yeah, base, 100x, yeah, in fact it's more than 100x. Um, but anyway, so um, so yeah, um, this could if this is 100x's, then I mean, yeah, just absolutely insane, guys. So yeah, loving wise at the moment. We look at how the how the referrals are going. Um, not the referrals. The referrals are going well as well, guys. I've currently referred um, about 340 ETH, but bear in mind, 165 of them are are my own. Um, but yeah, so the yeah, as you can see, um, we had a bit of a FOMO peak. Um, but since then, it's actually been stabilizing at not too bad levels. Um, not too bad levels. If you can see, around the 800, 800 to potentially 900 ETH, we're getting some riskier days coming in. Um, I was obviously quite heavy in this, this day yesterday. Um, but yeah, around this 800, I feel like this will pick up towards the end. Maybe, maybe a bit low on some of these high risky days. Um, but don't forget, people don't want to have the capital tied up for... 50 days so as we get nearer the end they may will may try and um snipe out some of these middle days and uh, working on the assumption there'll be even more impatient people who only want to put their tokens in right at the end um and then what i will say is on this day here day 50 the last day um <clears throat> this is the 30th at which i should hopefully be released um another um, another quarter of my pre-sale tokens for base so i know that i personally if this isn't a crazy price um will be dumping a lot of that into here and i probably will do anyway because obviously i'll get 10 percent extra eth extra then i also get 10 percent um via my own referral links at 20 percent. so even if it's quite a high eth day um i probably will just smash a load of eth in there um so um so yeah so that is my um, Y strategy. Um, loving Y still. think it's great. Been watching the live streams. Peter seems like a solid guy. Um, project seems solid. Um, I'm liking it. I'm liking... I just like everything about Wise basically. I like everything about it. I even like how lots of people don't initially like it. And lots of people won't buy into this 50-day pre-sale because they won't officially like it. Um, they won't actually like it. And then they'll wait to have to see it starting to do well and people get the returns when it goes live. And then they will start to FOMO in. I kind of like the fact it is potentially underplayed to start off with just because people will need to see the, the gains before they want to get involved because that's how FOMO works. That's how crypto works. That's how human psychology works. People don't like want to do like the strategy of buy before the pump. Buy when people don't want something. Buy when buy when it's low. Buy when there's low interest. Sell when everybody wants it. Sell when there's loads of interest. It just goes against human psychology, guys. Finally, the last thing I wanted to tell you guys, might do a separate video on this as well. I'm getting a lot more followers now, so I'm massively appreciative of that. I'd say I've not got loads, but they are going up quicker than they were going. So for a period of time, I was having no ads, um, and I wasn't getting many followers. And I believe YouTube was not promoting my videos to people because I, um, because... Um, I didn't I didn't have ads, so they're not gonna make any money on my videos. Why just my video if there's no ads? So I am putting ads on, but what I'm wanting to do, what I want to do, and I know that is a pathetic amount of money, but regardless I, I'm gonna I'm going to pledge to you guys, regardless of how big my channel gets, regardless of how big my channel gets, I will always give you guys I will always give all of my um revenue to you guys because you guys are having to listen to the ads. They are they are a pain in the ass. Um, I I basically have about four different YouTube channels, um, diff not channels, but um, YouTube accounts on various devices. Um, so I I if I had one on everything, I literally would just pay for uh, YouTube Premium but because I don't have it and I can't and I'd have to pay for it on like in different devices that I have different accounts on. 
Um, I just don't want to have to do that. So I would pay it, and I don't because of that reason. So I just, I, I, the ads are a pain. So you guys are having to watch the ads. You guys can have the revenue. I'll do some sort of lottery system. Um, basically, I'm going to put a spreadsheet together of people that are in the Telegram chat, people that interact, people that talk, people that I know, people that are, that are in the chat. Um, you're going to get basically put on the spreadsheet. I'm going to give you a number and then we'll do like a random number generation um, every month to decide who gets the money. All that will change is that if this starts to go up, I might I may split it into like one. Sorry, not I can't split, it, I can't split it into one. I can't split one into one, but maybe two or three um, prize funds, maybe like a first, second and third, maybe just <clears throat> equal between like three or four winners. Um, and then, yeah, you guys can basically have that and I'll just send you that probably in cryptocurrency um also also what i want to say is yes yeah, so i mean that just give you guys extra incentive i'm not gonna try and beg it or push it or whatever but if you guys want to share my channel in your socials um in your other telegram chats groups if you want to like comment um share my share just share the con content and um, that will help my subscribers subscribers go up, that'll help my views go up that'll help my revenue go up that'll just mean more money for you guys literally um so so yeah so that is it guys that is all i really wanted to say so remember none of this is financial advice i'm not a financial advisor very interested to see what happens into base i expect it is going to rally into the close um this is the other sort of elastic dynamic of it the less it rallies um the less incentive there is then for it to rally more the more it rallies the more incentive it is to rally more as more people want to pile in and less people want to sell the less it rallies um, the less incentive for the pe people to pile in and the less um, basically um, sort of incentive for people not to sell. Um, so, yeah, interesting dynamics. Like, I just love it. It's like a, it's like a trader's dream, guys. I just love this coin. Um, I love this coin from a game theory trading perspective. I never got involved in Ample. Um, well, I did, but not involved in its early days whenever it was doing this wild stuff so i've not been through this before i have been involved in ample before and then without initially even realizing what was going on but then i obviously looked into it and sussed it out but yeah this wildness here i've never been involved in this before and it is it is an experience it is a learning experience and um and i am all for learning experiences so thank you for listening guys bit of a long video there um again remember this is not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor always do your own research and i will speak to you guys uh later on this evening with our bitcoin update